Hey YouTubers, beer geeks, and beer hounds alike, Bill here, and uh, we're going to do a beer review today. And uh, we're going to be reviewing Ballast Point Brewing Company Manta Ray Double India Pale Ale. This is what it looks like. This came in a variety 12 pack, and uh, this is one of like four, I think, set different beers. I think they're all IPAs. This one comes in at 8.5% ABV. And uh, doesn't say the IBUs, so. It's uh, ballast points in uh, San Diego. And um, I've never been to that brewery before. Uh, that's what the cap looks like. Pretty cool looking. Okay. Another shot at the label. Right. So uh, let's get a crack open and see what we got here. I reviewed um, their uh, Sculpin IPA uh, a couple of days ago and it got five stars out of five for me. I thought it was amazing. Hopefully this will be amazing also. Um, when I had the Sculpin from the can it was a big difference from the taste from the can as to when I tried it before from the bottle. <clears throat> much, much, much better from the can. I noticed big time. And the reason I say that is because uh, one of the uh, uh, IPAs that was in the variety pack was uh, the Sculpin and it was in a bottle and I just had one yesterday and I could tell the difference. <clears throat> it didn't even taste like the same beer and these are fresh too so it's definitely um, better from the can if you can get your beers from a can it's that much better I mean to the point where it actually tastes like a different beer that's how much difference there is from a can to a bottle so um, that's that so we got a Monster head here. It's frothy and creamy. It's already turning rocky As you can see there Okay All right, so let's get some of this chill haze off here <clears throat> Little light show going here for you So right off the bat It's a uh, clear amber color crystal clear amber color so looks really good it's not very uh, many bubbles streaming up from the bottom um, heads hanging around for a while looks like it's got really good head retention but uh, it's a gorgeous looking double IPA there ladies and genitalia so you can see the light it's crystal clear looks real good you can see the clarity of the beer all right there you go Very few bubbles streaming up from the bottom. Looks really good. Looks very good. All right. Well, let's get an aroma on this puppy. Okay. Okay, right up front, I'm getting citrusy notes. 
and some tropical fruit notes along with some uh, bready caramel malt note. Guava, mango, pineapple, some grapefruit, some pine, some orange, maybe a little tangerine. Some slight floral notes. Smells really good. Head's turning like ice cream. It's a good sign, look at that. It's like ice cream, Lace, leaving lacing on the glass too. Getting a lemon, kind of a lemon drop note as well. Even getting like a vanilla note. Getting a slight bubblegum note as well. Kind of like that bazooka with the little sugary kind of note on there. Smells fantastic. Cheers, let's get a hit. Oh man. That is good. That is really good. Agitated. See if I can pick up something else here. Yeah, nice bready malt note coming through there along with the citrusiness. Citrusiness. And the, the fruity notes that are coming through. It's very well balanced. Oh, yeah. It's pretty hoppy. But it's got enough malt, bready malt sweetness to balance that out so it's not like a lingering bitterness on your tongue. It's got a nice finish. Got a medium mouthfeel. Yeah, it's just all the citrusiness notes, uh, the lemon and all that mango and everything. It's very well balanced with the malt sweetness. Um, you can't tell that it's almost 9% alcohol. You can't tell that it's um, there's no alcohol noticeable. Cheers. Oh yeah. It's got a really tasty malt backbone to it. Uh, it's kind of like more of a bready type note, but it does have a touch of some caramel in there. Some sweetness there. Let me think one more time and then we'll wrap it up. Cheers. I think I'm picking up a honey note as well, a slight honey note. Oh man, that's amazing. Well, that's what I'm pretty much getting. Um, I don't think I ever rated this on rape beer, but I'm getting ready to after I do this video. And I'll have that description in the de description section at the bottom, bottom of this uh, video here. And you can check that out if you'd like. Uh, I'd probably be giving this anywhere like a 4.5 to maybe a 4.7 out of uh, 5 on rape beer. Uh, this is one of the best IPAs I would say I've tried in a long time. Um, I'd say about 4.6, 4.7. Ready. Ready out of five would sum this one up really good this is an excellent excellent IP, double IPA oh yeah got some guava in there also just picked up some pineapple it's very very hoppy uh, but very uh, balanced with the sweetness so it's it's pretty easy drinking for for a double IPA yeah, very tasty all right everybody y'all take care and it's Mother's Day out there so uh, to all you mothers out there happy Mother's Day cheers Go. Uh, pretty awesome. 
pretty darn awesome. All right, take it easy. Later.